In this video, we are going to discuss cutoff frequency of filter that we are using in sampling process. So, in sampling process after sampling of a continuous time signal after making it, it as discrete. So, the sample signal is passed through some filters practically when we are uh, going to practical process of sampling. After sampling the sample signal is passed through some filter most probably we can consider like LPF. So, then we need to follow some condition for considering the cutoff frequency of the filter. If you are not maintaining a perfect cutoff frequency of that filter, your frequency components or required frequency components are going to filter and you are not getting your signal perfectly even though you, you uh, converted into discrete form perfectly by considering a perfect sampling train frequency and time period after sending through that LPF some frequency components are going to miss. So, because of that missing you are not going to reconstruct your signal. So, that is the problems about filters. So, you are having a condition to consider the cutoff frequency of the filter in sampling. So, the cutoff frequency of the filter must be greater than FM, but it must be less than FS minus FM. So, FM must be uh, this is cutoff frequency not FM. So, your cutoff frequency of your filter must be greater than your message frequency, but it must be less than the subtraction of FM from FS that means the difference of FS from FM. So, here for example, your FS is equal to some 30 hertz, FS is equal to 30 hertz and FM for message frequency you are having F1 is equal to uh, FM is equal to some 10 hertz, FM is equal to 10 hertz. Then how much frequency you need to consider, how, what filter you need to consider with how much cutoff frequency you can consider a filter to pass your sampled signal through it. That means, so here we need to consider in the range. 10 less than FC less than FS minus FM means 30 minus 10. 30 minus 10 means 20 heads. 10 to 20 heads you need to consider the cutoff frequency of the filter. The cutoff frequency of the filter that you need to maintain for a, uh, for a filter LPF or anything to get your required signal back or to get your required signal out and to recover back. For example, you are having any continuous signal, you done sampling process just by multiplying with a impulse train, you got your sampled signal. Sampled signal means that will be in discrete form like this, you got your sampled signal. After getting this sampled signal, for example, you are passing through any LPF. So, you are passing this signal through LPF. If your signal frequency if your signal frequency is something here, so that means your frequency here is FS and if you are passing your signal through LPF, you need to follow some cutoff frequency here. Cutoff frequency of the filter must be like this. For example, this signal is having 10 hertz and this is having 30 hertz. So, this may have some higher frequency. So, here if you are passing through LPF, the cutoff frequency of this filter must be in the range of 10 to 20. 10 to 20 means you can take 15 hedges. You can take 15 hedges. For example, if you consider less than 10 hedges, what will happen? So, all the message components are going to eliminate. If you consider less than less than 10 hertz, then what will happen means message components are going to eliminate that is one problem. So, in this range if you consider less frequency if you consider 9 heads or 8 heads in this case. So, you are going to miss message components why because message frequency starts from 10 heads. So, now coming to if you exceeded this range uh, for example, if you consider 25 heads 35 heads like that. If you consider 25 heads like that, 
so for example any message components which are having that higher range may enter noise may come generally the problem by uh, by considering the higher frequency than this range means noise will come noise will enter any other message components also can enter so this is the perfect range of your cutoff frequency that means here also noise will enter you you may get down that means here you are having 10 h for our message but you are accepting up to 20 h but here also other frequency components of the other signals which are having 15 h 20 h may enter but this is the acceptable range for this fs the the pulse train is having 30 hedges this can bear this much of noise if that range in that range if any noise signals entered also this can bear that noise but if you exceeded that signals will be treated as high frequency signals to bear that high frequency signals for this 30 hertz that noise will be high frequency this can this can't bear that high frequency signals so whenever you are having fs as your frequency of pulse time and fm as your message frequency the cutoff frequency of filter must be in the range of fm less than fc less than fs minus fm on this you are having so many problems the uh, sampling rate may change based on cutoff frequency your sampling rate also going to change how much sampling frequency you need to consider that if you are using any filter in your path the cutoff frequency of the filter is so and so then what may be the sampled frequency you need to consider sampling frequency you need to consider so your sampling frequency is going to affect by this cutoff frequency of the filter that effect will uh, see in next classes we are going to deal some problems in that problems what you need to keep in mind is this is very important one only one point you need to keep in mind is whenever you are doing sampling after sampling the sampled signal is going through some filters when it is going through some filters that filters need to follow some cutoff frequency otherwise the frequency components are going to miss because of that missing you are not going to reconstruct your message signal back again in the future so to resolve that problem we are taking care of that filter and we are maintaining this frequency that means fm less than fc less than and fs minus fm in this range only you need to consider the cutoff frequency of your lpf or any filter then you will get a perfect uh, filtered signal filtered version of your sampled signal from that filtered version of sampled signal if you maintain this perfectly you can re reconstruct your message signal as usual perfectly so this is about cutoff frequency of filter in sampling in next classes we will discuss some problems related to cutoff frequency of the filter